Wimbledon. 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 It's got to be Wimbledon. 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 Where do you think we are? F***ing Wimbledon? Oh, you better talk nice to me. I'm in your head. I invest. That's a short-term f***. Good morning, guys. Today is Wimbledon day one. I went on a walk to get my coffee this morning at like 7.30, and there was already people lining up to go to the queue and having breakfast. So there's already kind of a good energy in the air. I just got dressed and got ready. Here is my outfit for the match today. The dress is from House of CB. I'm wearing lots of maxi dresses and florals this year. I'm heading to site this morning because we are filming the first episode of Wimbledon Threads this morning before Taylor's match. He's fourth on tonight, so he'll probably be a little bit later in the day, but I'm going to head to the grounds now. I'm so excited. It is a beautiful day out and we're gonna have fun. We just wrapped up filming for episode one for the day. It was so cold outside, <laughs> like so cold outside. I was shivering and then it started raining. So we had to do a rain delay. Okay, just got ready for Taylor's match. It's the same match that he was playing yesterday. It got suspended due to darkness. So Wimbledon does not have stadium court lights the same way that a lot of other tournaments do. So they usually will just stop play around 9 p.m. once it gets too dark for the players to like really see the ball in the court well. So he has about half of the fifth set to finish this morning, which is very nerve wracking. They're just going to play like five games and then it will be over. So let's cross our fingers. Yesterday filming the first episode of Wimbledon Threads was so Fun. I was so nervous about it, but I literally just ran around the grounds all day talking to people and I just had the best time. So I think that episode is getting edited right now. I'm going to go to the studio right now and do a little voiceover for it. And then um, hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be able to see the first episode. I was stressing out last night because I feel like I just full tank to the vlog yesterday. This week is really going to test my time management skills because obviously first and foremost, I'm here to support Taylor at the tournament. I'm doing the broadcast thing, which is taking up most of my day. I'm trying to vlog and get content for YouTube. I'm trying to do my outfit TikToks every day. I'm trying to be active on Instagram stories every day and get content for Instagram as well as just take care of myself and my health. It's a lot, but I also am the type of person that I just thrive in busyness, but I will try to be better about the vlog the rest of the week because last night I was like, oh my god, I literally did not film today. Okay, I've like kind of worn this outfit already. I have the little strawberry sweater. I'm wearing my red Chanel because it matches the strawberries. My kukai pants. I walked around the grounds for literally 10 hours yesterday, so I'm wearing booties today instead of heels to try to give my feet uh, a little bit of a rest. I really like my necklace stock today. So I've got the Lottie tennis racket necklace, the Shop Makaho, I think is the name of the brand, this little heart necklace. This is Lottie pearls and then my Cartier. I'm gonna call an Uber and we are going to commence day two. Having lunch with my favorite people, Paul and Olivia. Dark we are. Um, there's a little bit of a rain delay this morning, shocking. But, cheers. Black pepper extra. They don't taste bad. It's spicy, it's not bad. <laughs> I was about to say it's not bad. Two hours later and it's still raining. Basically every indoor area of the whole tournament is just packed with people sheltering from the rain, including all of the player lounge, player dining. People are like sitting on the floor because there's not enough space for everybody because it's right at the beginning of the tournament. Okay, all of the matches got canceled. It literally rained the entire day, so everyone was just sitting waiting around the whole day and it's like 7 p.m. right now and they canceled all matches about 30 minutes ago. I'm going into the city tonight. Everything got rained out today so Taylor will have to finish his match from Monday tomorrow on Wednesday, which is sort of ridiculous, but British summer. I weren't exactly surprised when you said that you were leaving. 
I feel like I'm living in Groundhog Day. Today is take three of trying to finish Taylor's first round match. There was rain this morning, but now it is sunny. And we're going to see if that lasts. It is a little chilly, so I just threw on my strawberry sweater, but I'm going to head to the courts now. I'm gonna to go to Taylor's match, and then we're filming episode two of Wimbledon Threads. I will show you guys my outfit for today without the sweater on. So this dress is from 411 Lemons. It has this really cute little rose detailing on it and puffy sleeves. It is a maxi dress, of course. I'm wearing my Converse to walk to the courts, but I'm gonna bring heels to change into for when we are filming. I just don't want my feet to be absolutely destroyed by like the end of the first week. Wimbledon day three, let's go. Here's the lunch setup. And the sun's out. A few moments later. <laughs> Taylor is finally about to finish his match given that it does not rain in the next like 15 minutes which is entirely possible this is not a good angle what was your plan for the start of today um I definitely just wanted to uh on the like you said being being off awesome. I'm amazing let's get in line <laughs> Wait, I want to play this. That's what we're playing. Oh, okay. Adam, me versus you. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's do it. <laughs> the child is beating you. You're in last place. <laughs> okay, we're going to try to figure out this game now. What? I'm so confused. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh my god. I mean, I'm Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm awful. Our kids are going to need to get Taylor's jeans because this is really bad. This is why you should in the back of the grounds here at Wimbledon, they have this area where you can make your own postcard. They'll take a photo of you here, and then, yeah, I'm getting in it, and then they'll send the postcard anywhere that you want, and then you can write people postcards, and it'll send, and it'll be like from Wimbledon. So, we're gonna do a photo together. <laughs> My grandma loves tennis and loves Wimbledon, so I'm writing her, oh, thank you. Oh, cute. I'm writing her and my grandpa a little postcard and they'll get it and it says from Wimbledon with love. My grandma. Hi from Wimbledon. I sent this one to my brother. Mm -hmm. You're sending one to Mike? I'm going to send one to Mike. You should Your Mike. husband who you <laughs> live with? <laughs> I sent one to Daniel. I don't, I don't but I guess at least <gasps> Daniel's not here. Imagine I send Taylor a postcard you, and he'd be like, what the fuck? You absolutely should. He'd be like, is this spam? <laughs> I feel like my grandma's gonna see this in the vlog before the postcard gets to them. <laughs> does she watch? Yeah, of course she does. Oh my does. god, that's adorable. <laughs> We're going across the road to... I don't know what this is. Oh, cue to serve. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be awful. <laughs> oh, the shirt's coming untucked. The shirt's no, coming untucked. Shoulder. Get that shoulder yeah, warm. Shoes. You wanna go first? You no, you go first. Go first. He's going first. He wants to he just Let's go. <laughs> there you go. 41, nice one. Good job. Taylor won in five sets. He was only on court for 11 minutes. That's all they had left to play and he broke him and then held. So he's on to the second round. I'm wearing my tea is served shirt and we're having sticks and sushi yet again because he's gonna play tomorrow and we're gonna film episode three tomorrow. So it's super fun and hopefully, hopefully the weather will be nicer the rest of the week. How do you feel about the match? Done with it. And Taylor let me interview him today for the first time. I did an interview with him on his match outfit <coughs> this week. <coughs> Sorry, I'm eating. When Taylor coughs, he looks like that meme of the cat coughing. I don't know if anyone's gonna know what I'm talking about. Orangi. This is the practice area and warm up area before matches. This is how I spend a good chunk of my day. I'm standing right outside at center court. This is one of the hospitality entrances. Last year when I did the outfit TikTok, it was probably like 10 hours total of me just standing outside the entrances of center court waiting for people with awesome outfits to walk by. 
and then I will go up to them and ask if I can get like a video of them walking by, but that's what I'm doing today. And it's fun just like standing here waiting for good outfits to go by and talking to people. But this is usually where you will find me on the ground. Oh, I'm going to go again. Is that how the British do it? I like sugar. No, you should be Yes. And then what are you Smilier? Am I not smiling enough? I'm a little serious. Welcome back to Wimbledon Brad's fashion page. I really like your YouTube channel, by the way. It's really nice to see the insights of what, like, the life behind the scenes. It's really We've done a slow version of... No, 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 don't, don't play. <laughs> Team is in the box. Wolf and Lily for Taylor's round two match. He's playing on court 18, which the longest tennis match ever was played on this court. Who is that, Isner and who? Mahout. Isner and Mahout. Crazy stat, they played each other first round the next year. Match time. Wow. <laughs> Okay, hi guys, so Taylor lost his match yesterday, um, which we're used to losses, some are worse than others, I would say yesterday was definitely one of the worser ones. Well, obviously he's bummed because Grand Slams are super important tournaments, but all he can really do is just go home and keep training and look to the next one. I am going to stay here at Wimbledon an extra few days. I have had the best week. I literally cannot remember the last time that I had this much fun doing something. Working as an influencer is fun and different in a lot of ways, but I think something that I really miss is working with a team of people, specifically a really awesome, smart, fun, super creative team of people and the editor and the producer and the camera people that I'm working with this week are just the most fun, most creative, smart, funny group of people and I've had the best time with them this week. Obviously Wimbledon is so cool. British people are so nice and it's so fun chatting with everyone and getting to meet a bunch of tennis fans. It's so weird the difference between this year and last year. I've had so many people come up to me this year and like talk about my YouTube and stuff and last year I used to literally just go get drunk on Hedman Hill and nobody had any idea who I was. Obviously as expected I did get a good amount of like criticism and negative feedback for doing the show which is fine tennis is historically very stiff especially uh wimbledon and the way people kind of perceive wimbledon and there's a lot of misogynist fans who want me to just sit back and quietly support taylor and keep my mouth shut and sit in the box but obviously that's not the way I roll. Again, all just stupid comments, no constructive criticism, just people being haters, which is fine. Um, I also deactivated my Twitter last week because I realized that that is a platform that does not have any benefit to me. There's no creativity around the app. It's just a bunch of people kind of spewing opinions and happened to be the place where I actually got the most hate. Um, and saw like the most nasty things about me. So I just deactivated it because I was like, I don't want to see this anymore. This is not doing anything good for me. So anyone who wants to write mean things on Twitter about me, go right ahead. I won't see it. Anyways, it's bright and early. It's 9 a.m. I'm going to go to site. We're filming two episodes today, which I'm super excited for. So I'm bringing two different changes of clothes to like make it look like it's filmed on different days, but I will show you guys the first outfit. This is another House of CB dress. It's just a white little 
Wimbledon White's maxi dress. This little corset part is super cute. Can't even describe how obsessed I am with House of CB maxi dresses. They are the most flattering. I mean, you guys know that if you watch my videos because I have like 12 of them. It is bright and early, so it's still pretty quiet on the grounds. This morning, I think they start letting people in at 10, but I'm not entirely sure. Beer. At court three this morning, filming an intro on the court. This is my production Grace mama King, of the week <laughs> and a little badass. And she's always on the phone and means business. <laughs> we filmed the first episode. I had a little bit of an outfit change. Starting out filming up on Henman Hill, which is one of the most famous parts of Wimbledon. It's this massive hill that everyone picnics at. If you have grounds passes, a lot of people will come here and watch the tennis, but it is absolutely packed with people it's also blistering hot today so I'm like dripping sweat and my feet hurt and we're having a day I'm in the strawberries and cream booth <laughs> working woman now this is my first day zoo in here but they have one really cute green hat that says Wimbledon on it that I've been trying to get all week but I literally have not had time with filming and they're sold out of it so now I'm contacting everyone on the tournament site and literally buying the Wimbledon hat off of the like secondhand market here I ran into oh slay is it? 120 pounds. Welcome to Dude. Wimbledon. Do you think it's pounds? worth it? Oh, but she looks really cute. Wait, where did you get a voucher? Well, Taylor has one. He probably didn't inform you. Oh my god. Chandler, I don't think you've been in my vlog yet. Oh my god. Here's the map. I don't think you've been in my vlog either. This is the media editing studio, so you can see people up on the grounds up there. But this is where a lot of the content is edited. I just think it's really cool and I've never seen this part of the tour before. These guys are here from like sunup to midnight every night, making sure that all the content is out. It's really, really cool. They've got a Ralph's at the Ralph store on the grounds and it's so cute. So we're having our little spritzes. Love. Little girls day, I just finished filming and got off work. So now we can actually enjoy the tournament. Andy Murray is playing right now. People here love him. And this is the hill right now for his match. I've never seen it this busy before and people are going crazy. But we're on a mission to go, to go find Pims. We've got a crew of girls now. filming another episode. I am sticking around for a few more days to finish filming and then I'm gonna go back to the US. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here so I will see you guys next week.